Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, it's pretty early, and we have temperatures straight in from Siberia. But despite all that, we're going to see if we can get some grill lights in the 2500 today. This is Brutus. He's my uh, 2023 GMC Sierra 2500. He's got a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax. Yeah. Clearly this means the most awesome truck on four wheels. He's got a fancy tailgate. So you can see we have those roof lights up there. And then, you know, these side markers. And then we even have them in the mirrors. But we don't have them in the grill. Well, I suppose we should pop the hood and see what we've got to work with under there. It's probably easy. No problem whatsoever. Let's see. What do you do? Push? Push or pull? Oh, here we go. Okay. So we got some plastic and some more plastic. And then there's some plastic there. Uh, there's some plastic. And over here is more plastic. Oh, and don't forget this area back here with, you know, all the plastic. So I got this light kit ordered in from Amazonia. Comes with a wiring harness and four of these, these lights here. This was actually for a Toyota, but... We're going to figure out how we make it work. Well, that kit comes with four lights, but my center is an opening, and there's an odd number of these. So I think I'll use only three, because odd number, odd number, and that would probably look best. Odd and odd. I mean, I don't know. That's just the logic we're going to use here. There's an area in here behind the grill. You see this right here? right here, where I think we can attach them, which would set them back a little bit. But I, I guess we need to see if we can get access to this. Step number one, let's get see if we can get this cover off without, you know, breaking stuff. We'll just pop these up, these little plastic clips here. So what's that, one, and then this is, oh, careful. There we go. Uh, two. Was that all? Oh, no. Here's more. Of course, there, there's, you know, they, they hide them. You're hiding. You're hiding from me. You got to play hide and seek with the buttons. Oh, we have what's going on here. Oh, we have those little starts. We have to take this handle off. Is this the one we want? It is. What are the odds that I get the right one right out of the gate? Must be my birthday. Is it my birthday? Don't lose your little screws, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, let's try it again. Come on. Come on out of there. There we go. Okay, yeah, we have four of these lights, and we're only going to use three, which means we have the luxury of experimentation with one of them. Okay, so fitting them to the truck, it looks like the best option for me is, you know, this will fit against that area that I showed you earlier. If I think if we can get two little holes here drilled. I can use these screws, which have plenty of reach beyond this, and then drill two little holes in the thing and just, just screw them in there, you know, just screw them in there. So we need to start with two little holes here. I'll pop this out so that I can, and I'll probably, I think what I'm going to do is whoops cut this off this mounting tab here so let's do that oh. 
now we can take and drill two holes here. Okay. Yeah. I just want to run these screws through here and make sure. Oh yeah, that's going to work just fine. Oh yeah. Okay, now we go put two holes in the truck. I don't know how well you can see this, but right here is where we want to go with this. And I'll just drill two little holes and then we'll run the screws in. I probably should snap the light in to make sure it's, you know, will fit after. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. That's going to work just fine. I want to make sure I get it, you know, centered. Because it would look weird otherwise. Okay. Let's see. Do we have a good hole? Oh, yeah. Make a screw. Fantastic. Where did it go? I can't see it. I can get it with my 12 foot bendy claw, I think. I got it. I got it. I got it. No worries. We got it. Okay, back to it. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to get it. We are going to get it. Failure is not an option. Get in there. Now I got to get my, where's my screw? I got a little change in my pocket going ding and ding and ding. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Well, that came out fantastic. Now we just got to get the other two. All right, got them all in there. Now, on these holes, I didn't do the center because it was too close together. And I figured I'd take the light out. And now it's you know, to the edge of the badge. And so when you look at it, it's the width of the badge, right? Yes. And this one's a little wanky, so I'm going to fix it. But I think before we call this done, I want to do something to disguise this a little. I'm going to try to hide these a little with this nightshade stuff. So here's the back side. The back side, you can see these pigtails come come right in here. They just, you know, they're right here. So we're just going to get our our wiring and run it straight down and you know over to the fuse box. Well, right, let's see how. I mean, it's cold. Nothing wants to. Everything is, you know, hard and inflexible. Now, this thing has four connectors on it, of course. So I think we'll just tape one up and button it up or whatever. But I want to get... Let's get the first one plugged in here. Oh, the tab broke immediately. See, that's how cold it is. That tab just snapped right off of there for me. Let's try another one here. Yep. 
Yeah, that one broke too. We'll tape them up. I'm going to drill some holes in here from the zip ties. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. Well, don't get your wire. Get the wire out of the way. You see these plastic, like plastic tabs or whatever for the grill. I just drilled a hole in each one so that I could run a zip tie through and see, I'll do that all the way down. Okay, we got this little, you know, tap thing here. And I think all we do, is that, how do I get the fuse out? I gotta go get, I gotta get something to get the fuse out. This should get the fuse out. They say you should disconnect the battery for this, but uh, I'm not gonna. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? There's no fuse getter outer thing. Oh, there we go. Park lamp left, 34. Where's that one? Oh, that was the one I was just messing with. But where's park lamp right? 42. Where's that one? Okay, 42 is this one. I should be able to make that one work. Okay, and off. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'm going to put some different ends on this hot wire here. I don't like this. This here. Alright, I put a little hole in the side of the top of the cover with a grommet in there. So we're going to run this wire through. And you don't want moisture getting in your fuse box if you can help it. Okay. I will put one of these on. We got to put these. It was a 10 amp, so I'm going to go back with the 10 amp. And then I'm also going to put a 10 on the... You have to have... There's two fuses that go in here. You have to, as I understand it, have both of them in in order for it to work. So we're going to shove this... Shove these in here. Let me just... Let me just get this plugged in and routed the way we want and now we can lay this down here and snap our box back on boom and that is going to be a 10 millimeter where our ground is going Okay. All right, James. Let's turn the park lights on, please. Oh, look at that. Fancy. See there? Put that nightshade stuff on it. You can't even see them anymore. Got them all mounted up. Got my wiring in. It's all zip tied around. Around and around and around we go, and then there. Now we get this joker back on here. Get on there. Get. Is it going to go? It's going to go. It'll go. Okay. I did end up putting all my buttons in a bag because, you know, I'm smart like that. Really, I just didn't want to lose them, and I would have. Got to watch these little plastic buttons. They'll come apart on you. I don't even know how they work. It's like some kind of voodoo. All right, we're going to get our handle back on. two little screws in here. If you're wondering, this is a, what is this? It's a T15. There you go. Mystery solved. T15. All 
I think we're buttoned up here. Oh, yeah. I suppose I better check, make sure they still work. Are they on? Can you tell me if they're on? Are they on? No one's answering. Oh, look at that. I think we're wrapped up here. Hope you liked this video. Hope you got something out of it. It was easy as cake or gravy or pie or whatever kind of food people use to describe things as being easy which makes no sense if you think about it. Why wouldn't we say Pop-Tarts? Easy as Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts are really easy.